Hey guys, I'm back. It's me again, Rag and Vapor, and today I'll be doing a review on Vapehead Origins' newest atomizer. It's called the Helios Atomizer. Here it is. Okay, and focus. The Hel Helios Atomizer from Vapehead Origins. Okay, to start with, this little baby is made out of a 304 high quality food grade stainless steel. Okay, so um, it has an airflow control functionality. And um, I'm going to show you the different modes of the airflow control in a bit. But for now, let's start with the top cap. Okay. So, here it is. The top cap of uh, the Helios Atomizer. It has uh, three 1 millimeter air hole per side. Um, giving you a total of uh, six air holes. Okay. So, it has uh, six, six air holes in total. Six uh, 1 millimeter air hole giving you a total of... Uh, six millimeter airflow okay if it's fully open all right so let's start with the top part of the top cap it's a seamless uh, finish okay and uh, the, the airflow control ring has the uh, vape head origins uh, pattern or a trademark the uh, diamond like knurling pattern of uh, Vapehead Origins, okay. I believe it's a trademark of theirs because um, you can see it on the firing mechanism of the Kronos and the Titan, okay. And the bottom, the, the, the bottom part of the uh, top cap has a uh, seam lining, okay. A thick seam lining, four seam lines running around the, uh, the top cap, okay. All right. Now, the... Uh, the special part of the atomizer, which is the uh, the base, okay. So what's special about this? It has uh, three poles, but the center pole is hybrid, okay. I call it hybrid because it has two slots, okay, giving you four slots in total, okay. So I believe this will accommodate your quad coil build, even up to uh, eight coil builds, okay easily all right so it has a juice well and um, the poles are made out of a stainless steel and the locking the locking screw is uh, made out of a stainless steel too okay allen screw allen stainless steel screw all right and um the uh i don't know if you can see it but the uh the insulator is made out of high temperature uh, I believe it's Delrin plastic okay and it has two o-rings and um, the, the the serial can be found um, underneath the uh, atomizer I'm not sure if you can see it and um, also the uh, center pin the positive pin is um, made out of stainless steel also okay so it has again it has uh, three poles so tripole with a uh, hybrid center or positive pole giving you uh, like four poles in total or four slots in total okay all right so that's the base and I forgot to mention that the uh, top cap has a uh, has the VHO engraving on the side not sure if you can see it okay it has the VHO engraving or engraving status the letter V, the letter H, and the letter O engravings on the side. Okay, so let's go to the special part or the most exciting part or most awaited part of the review, the vapor production. All right, for uh, for this atomizer, I did a uh, quad, no, no, dual coil build. Okay, dual coil build um, using two strands of uh, three millimeter weak per build and uh, three loops of uh, baquero wire or flat wire okay so for this review I'll be using my favorite juice which is the venom from Bamscalicious um, let's put a couple of drops here I really like the uh, the four slot functionality or feature okay the hybrid center pole all right so let's let's try this let's see 
Okay. As I mentioned earlier, it has uh, three one millimeter air hole per side. Okay, giving you a total of six air holes or a six millimeter air flow. Okay, so let's start with the smallest possible um, air flow that you can get, which is, I believe, a half size hole or half half hole per side. Okay, giving you a tight drag. It doesn't look flush on my uh, Sigele. But it's going to look flush on your Titan or Cronus or other uh, mods that are paired with a Zen type atomizer or Genesis type atomizer that is. Okay. So this is going to be a tight red. Tight red giving you more flavor and less vapor production. Okay. Now let's open it, um, let's do a, uh, let's do, try two one millimeter air hole. Okay, so one air hole per side, fully open air hole per side. Two millimeter in total, okay. Pretty decent airflow for a vapor that is. And let's open it up a bit, giving you two air holes per side. A total of four millimeter airflow. Okay, four air holes in total. There you have it, um, producing massive clouds of vapor already. And now the uh, fully opened airflow, giving you three air holes per side, six millimeter airflow in total. Okay, since it has one millimeter air hole, three one millimeter air hole that is per side. Okay, so let's try it. It's a very loose drag, so basically um, it's going to produce more vapor but less flavor, okay? All right, there you have it. The uh, the Helios Atomizer from Vaped Origins, SRP is 3,500 pesos. If you can afford this atomizer, I recommend this because it's a very nice atomizer. Okay, so um, I'll be posting the link down in the description for the website of Vaped Origins. And um, until my next review, this has been Aragon Vapor. To all the vapors out there, don't vape or can't smoke, vape responsibly, and Vape on.